see if you bleed red. Off my tail. You got it. Repeat visual contact loss. Hearing about a lot of dead dealers, the ones that are that are finally talking, saying Doc got stones in the system beneath the Big Mouth Jazz Club. You're not gonna try to convince me to let you arrest him, are you? If I wanted to arrest him, I wouldn't have let you be a part of this. Justice might be blind, but it shouldn't be stupid, too. Go do whatever it is you're gonna do. Sure thing, detective. You lured out that hippie asshole Gaston. You gonna go deal with him? Just gonna take a squirt, and I'll get her out of here. Is that a Hot Wheels just like you ordered? Appreciate it.
Cassandra told me to reach out. I certainly appreciate some help with phones. Sure thing. Huh? Guess he wasn't so bad. You fucking cold blooded boy! Long before the ship and bombs back to now. Believe you got us here. Anything for you, baby. Did he just shoot him? God damn! You shot oh, that man shit. there. When we're great, sir. Excuse me. Get your man over to the French ward. I need backup to lock this down. All right, but if I'm securing the entire district for you, I expect you to follow through with me keeping it. Uh, capo. That's when he turned his sights on Sal Marcano. Listen, it's like I said before. It's the same op who ran over in Vietnam. You want to bring down the dipshit in charge? You target their men and infrastructure. Eliminate their ability to fight back. And before they know it, they're standing there all alone. Ass hanging out in the wind.
got a name for your judge. Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Lou. Knock your works up. I'll be rewarding that lunatic, Lou. Then I'll pay me enough. I'm gonna stop you right there, Cornelius. Never know who might be listening in. You need to get this shit under control here. Because until you do, your brother's case isn't going anywhere. There's no call for that kind of talk. I'll send over a car, a couple of my best men. They'll see to it that you're kept safe. Cornelius is 60. The dipshits of this state first elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I heard he gunned him down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is gonna do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that is long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is your window. You follow a set route? Not since the trial started, but he still makes a stop or two on the way home. So, you can either hit him then, or go after him when he's driving around. All right. And watch out for the cops.
And watch out for the cops. And watch out for the cops. And watch out for the cops.
all units. Pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. <laughs> If you're ready to move against Lou, get in. I got a beat on him. You want to hear Marcano tear Uncle Lou a new one? Lou Marcano was bribing a district judge named Cornelius Holden, is that correct? Sal Marcano spent a lot of money getting Holden in his pocket. A lot of money. Judges like that don't come cheap. And with Holden out of the picture, Sal had to find someone else to legalize gambling. And that person was State Senator Walter Jacobs. That's right. You had one fucking job, Lou. That was to keep holding him one goddamn piece to left in that room. What was I supposed to do? He wouldn't listen, Sal. It ain't my fault. Ah, uh, nothing's ever your goddamn fault. I swear, if you wasn't my brother, I'd clip you myself. Now listen here. I know a guy, a state senator named Jacobs. He's on the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Committee. <laughs> Has a lot of influence. Can we get to him? Already have. He has a thing for fucking on women who ain't his wife. I don't want to twist this guy's balls out of the gate, you understand? We need to be smart about this. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, how about I throw him a fundraiser on the riverboat? Show him a real nice time. Get him laid. All that shit. This goddamn casino got me tapped, you understand? This goes down to shit or we're fucked. All of us. Well, I'll pick the guests myself. Make sure they know what's what. Then we'll take a nice long cruise down the bayou. Get them all liquored up. Once he sees that payday, Jacobs is gonna do whatever we want. <laughs> Lou Marcano knew everyone. I mean, politicians, merchants, lawyers, bankers. He insisted on being called Uncle Lou, and was basically the Santa Claus of the French ward. According to the police reports, Mr. Marcano and Mr. Jacobs were killed during a fundraiser on a riverboat. The thing about the bayou is it's a very big place. You could blow the living shit out of everything in sight and no one would even notice. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Assume you already mapped out where the riverboat's gonna go. Lou's pretty fastidious about that kind of thing. Always follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't want anything to happen to his beloved Delphine. <laughs> gonna be the least of his problems. You recon the area? There's an old coal dumper that they have to sail past. I've already got it rigged to blow. You just need to connect the primer cord to each block and then set it off. Detonator's down by your feet. All right. Isolate and kill. Lincoln Clay specialty. What's wrong? Yeah, it's the boat thing, isn't it? I'm not saying it is, not saying it ain't. <laughs> you need to get over it. You were on what, 40, 45 PBRs in country? 52. That's not the point. You don't know what it's like to get onto a boat knowing full well the damn thing's gonna sink. It gets old, man. Look. You blow the coal dumper. Boom. It hits the boat. Then you jump on board and kill Lou and those other assholes. 50-50, you don't even get wet. 50-50? Well, 40-60, uh, but still. Jeez. Oh, 30-70 at the worst.
what? 50-50? Uh, 40-60, but still. 